Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Under the blazing Arizona sun, you'll see all sorts of interesting sights. One you might not expect is a beautiful orange classic tractor. But as Rex Condi shows us, the desert can indeed be an Alice Oasis. It's a beautiful setting with the peacocks and the chickens and the uh, guinea hens uh, running around the grounds. It makes a real nice uh, setting for our tractor shows and for us to come and play with our tractors. The setting for Rex's tractor play is a real Arizona ranch with more than 100 years of history. Today, it's preserved as a Glendale City Park for all to enjoy. That includes classic tractor fans like Rex, who also enjoys preserving history in the form of this rare Alice crawler. You can turn it on a dime. Turns real sharp. This is a WM, which means a wide M, which is wider than the standard M. And this tractor was used on hillsides in steep country. It was made in 1938. The M was, uh, was manufactured from 1932 to 1942. It weighs about 7,000 pounds, has a 318 cubic inch engine in it. It's the same engine that was used in the U and the uh, UC by Alice Chalmers. I have a lot of fun driving this. There's uh, not very many crawler tractors at the tractor shows. It, dro it drives totally different than a wheel tractor. Very powerful little tractor for its size. Gets a lot of traction in the traction tractor pulls. Yeah. Well, uh, I, you know, it's uh, I, I don't uh, go over those kind of bumps very often, and I wasn't uh, quite prepared for that. But uh, uh, it's amazing where these little crawlers will go. They'll they'll tackle just about anything. Though he's an Arizona guy now. Rex grew up with Alice tractors on the Condi family farm in southern Idaho. He never thought about saving the old family tractors until one day he got a request he could not turn down. About 15 years ago when my mother was 80 years old, uh, she uh, called and said, because you're the only boy and your sisters don't want the tractor, I want you to come and get your dad's tractor that's out in the barn and keep it as a memento of the farm. Being a good son and not arguing with my mother, I went up and got it, not knowing what I was going to do with it. Enjoyed having the tractor that I grew up on uh, to uh, work with and to play with. I was about 13 years old when uh, Dad bought this one. I spent a lot of hours plowing and uh, mowing and raking and baling hay and, and uh, all of the other uh, activities that this tractor provided the power for on our farm in southern Idaho. Rex started with his dad's D14, but like so many others with classic tractor fever, one tractor led to another. Rex has grown his Alice collection, preserving treasured family heirlooms. This is a Alice Chalmers uh, WD, uh, made in 1950. My dad and uncle farmed together, and in 1950 they bought this tractor, and it was the first Alice Chalmers that they had. Uh, this tractor replaced a team of horses and uh, was very, uh, very good tractor on our, on our farm and I have spent many hours uh, driving this and have a lot of fond memories of uh, a lot of hours uh, working with this tractor. These tractors represent uh, my history to me. Uh, the uh, D14 and the WD uh, fed and clothed our family and uh, sent some of us off to college and uh, it's amazing that uh, two tractors with 30 horsepower did all that work those years ago uh, but they did and uh, uh, we took care of them and they took care of us. The 1938 WM Crawler was not a Condi family tractor but it is a sturdy, hard-working machine Rex has long admired. The crawler spent its working life on a neighboring farm back in Idaho. 
we had a, a next door neighbor that had some pretty hilly ground and he would farm with it and I'd uh, watch uh, him out there farming with it and uh, wondered what it was like to drive a, a crawler instead of a wheel tractor and, and uh, now I've got one. This tractor was used uh, as, as just a pull tractor. It just pulled implements. Uh, Alice Chalmers also had an option for a power takeoff on the back of this, which this farmer didn't have. So he used this to plow and to uh, uh, harvest. Uh, in our part of the country, in the Preston, Idaho area, this was mainly used to uh, grow wheat. And so it would be plowing the ground and planting the wheat and then pulling a harvester to harvest the wheat with. It's amazing, uh, in the 1930s, uh, what a good job they did to build this and how much power uh, and, and work comes out of that uh, little M. Rex restored the 1938 WM pretty close to the way it was when it was used back on the farm in Idaho. So he knows every in and out of this little powerhouse. I've tried to restore this tractor the same way that it was used on the farm up in Idaho. And uh, the there was headlights that was an option to buy, and this farmer did not choose that option, and so it doesn't have headlights. The seat was, uh, the original seat was uh, totally shot, uh, gone when I uh, bought this, and I had to uh, uh, build a, a new seat cushions and, and uh, armrests and, and uh, back support. Uh, steering uh, uh, levers are clutches that disengage the power or engage the power to uh, either the left side or the right side. No doubt Rex knows his Alice tractors and his grandkids, Bryson, Brindley, and Brianna, are getting plenty of loving attention from a granddad who believes in passing on the family tractor traditions. I'm, I'm the tractor grandpa and uh, I find that most kids, particularly my grandkids, uh, uh, have a lot of fun with tractors and I'm able to give them tractor rides and my oldest uh, grandson who is nine now uh, is very proficient in driving the uh, G and has a lot of fun, uh, attends uh, some of the tractor shows with us and, and helps me work on my tractors and it gives us something to uh, have a family activity together with. Treasured tractors bringing families closer together? Isn't that what classic tractor fever is all about? Way to go, Rex.